Hello, this is the second part of the how to draw a flower tutorial. It is recommended that you have seen the first part. To view it, just click on this preview window. If you look carefully at the flower we drew last time, you will notice that the ninth petal lies upon two petals and the others don't. Today I'm going to show you how to move part of an object behind another one. So you will get this effect. First go to layers and open the sub layers. Now select the layer with the smallest star. Next press and hold down the shift key and select all the other layers with the stars. Then right click with your mouse and select group. This will keep all the stars together. Next lock this group layer and turn off its visibility. Let's zoom in on this part. In the next few steps, using the knife tool, we will cut the ninth petal in half and move the left side of it under the first petal. Before we can use the knife tool on a compound path, first the object needs to be expanded. Using the selection tool, select the ninth petal. Then go to Object, Expand Appearance, go to Object again, select Expand and one more time and select Ungroup. Now with this object selected, go to the Knife tool, click away from the object, hold and drag to make a cut across the whole petal. Now, using the Direct Selection tool, click away from the object to deselect and drag a box to select only the left part of the petal. Next, press the letter V for the Selection tool to make sure you selected all the anchor points of the left side of this petal. Then, right click with your mouse and select Group. Right click with your mouse again, select Arrange and send to back. Click away to deselect and turn on the visibility of this group layer. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.